This message is for Joe Biden and the American people. I served 22 years in the Marine Corps. I'm retired now. But while I was in, I was a foreign area officer for the Middle East and North Africa. I was paid for my opinions. I'm going to give Joe Biden some advice because the people he is surrounding himself with seem to be only interested in looking out for Israeli interests rather than American interests. So here's some advice. Today, <clears throat> Israel assassinated a Hamas leader in Beirut, Lebanon. Now, they're at war with Hamas, and everybody understands that, but this assassination was in a different country. And they did that, Israel did that, to pull the United States into war. Israel cannot win the war against Hamas. It wants to drag Hezbollah into a wider regional conflict. And it knows that the only way <clears throat> it might have a chance is to bring American troops in. And I'm telling you, you don't want to do that. They pulled us into an unnecessary war in Iraq where friends and brothers died, and they're looking to do the same thing now. Now, why did they assassinate this guy in Beirut? He wasn't that senior. I mean, Ismail Haniya is in Qatar. They know exactly where he is. He's the most senior leader in Hamas. They could have assassinated him, but they know Qatar is not going to war with them over an assassination. They also have, uh, Hamas also has leaders in Egypt, but they also know that Egypt is not going to war with them. They assassinated this senior level official in Hamas, of Hamas, in Beirut, so that they can elicit a response from Hezbollah, which will turn the current attacks on Gaza into a wider regional conflict, which will draw the United States into this war. And I am telling you, as an American, as a retired military officer, as someone who used to give advice to senior military commanders, which political leaders rarely ever followed, to not get dragged in. You need to tell your spoiled little child called Israel, which receives more money than any state in this country based on the amount of taxes we generate and the amount of money we get back from the federal government. You need to tell your little spoiled child who cannot follow any rules or laws, who spies on us, who has killed Americans, who does whatever it wants, regardless of what you want, to stop this war and stop the stupidity. At a minimum, you need to force Netanyahu to leave government so that someone more reasonable can take over. Joe Biden, you will not get elected again if you don't start taking some actions. You are being called Genocide Joe, not by just Republicans, but Democrats as well because you've surrounded yourself with Zionists working for the interests of a foreign nation.